Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. I just dropped everything once again and have moved all the way to Seattle, Washington. I'm living in the middle of the fucking city in a tiny little studio apartment that is very reminiscent of like New York City or something. So it's kind of old historic style. And I just got the loft. You can see the little staircase there. Yeah, it's like basically the one year anniversary of the Joy Age, which is, for people who don't know, a uh, symbolic journey of like choosing yourself and uh, rolling the dice yourself and see what happens. Basically last year, uh, it was to be a van lifer essentially. And I just changed my car into a mobile home and did basically a van life for six months and just traveled the whole country and it was amazing. But I've been in Denver for the past eight months doing YouTube and I figured it was time. I was living in my parents' house. I had to get out. So I'm here in Seattle now living on my own. But anyways, before we go any further, my name's Kate, I'm 23, I'm an NFT YouTuber. Not a huge vlogger, but I figured I'm in Seattle. I'm in like a new city and like the city life is interesting. Everything I do, is entertainment out there in the city. You walk out for five seconds and you see 25 different things happen in front of you. I was like, fuck, maybe I should do a little bit of like vlogging here and there. What they want to mention before we get into the video, because it's gonna be a common theme, is I'm having like a bunch of decision fatigue and decision paralysis, if that makes sense. There's so many decisions to be made and so many questions I have, and do I need to do this first, do that first, do this first, do that first, that I'm basically only doing like two things a day and then running out of fucking steam. Like I've literally been sleeping on the ground like this. I do have this tiny little $4 blanket. So I will do like an apartment tour at some point when I've got more stuff in here. There's literally nothing. Everything you see is stuff I brought. I don't have a desk, I don't have a bed, I don't have a chair. Like I haven't sat in three days. And Seattle's still like randomly weird about masks in some areas. I know my apartment complex, so I have to wear this in the hallways. So let's go check out Seattle. Rainwater Lily. So we are back from Target. I have a pillow. So I got some apples. Gala apples. Some baby carrots. Some uh, light ranch because we're trying to be aesthetic out here. One avocado, semi ripe. We got that candle, rainwater lily. I didn't know if I should get Campbell's or traditional pers uh, progresso, so I got both. Got the Chobani Greek yogurt, strawberry flavor. Some frozen blueberries for oatmeal. And I got two of those ground turkey things, but I don't actually think I got the deal. Remember I showed you $3 off? It says here that you have to scan the barcode on the item and the, um, the coupon, which I did not do, so fuck. And I got two new energy drinks. You guys know I love doing the reviews on like any kind of food or drink stuff, and I'm right now I'm on a kick for energy drinks, so I got Celsius in the fridge, which I'm gonna do today. But I have a mimosa-flavored energy drink and a breezeberry naturally-flavored drink. These are both, I like the low-calorie ones. I feel like most people go for low-calorie energy drinks, so brutally honest review incoming. Here's what it looks like in here right now, so. Y'all already know what the deal with Celsius. Zero calories, everything, no nothing in it. Damn, that's good. Okay, so I'm biased here. I'm half Japanese for people who don't know. And I grew up, well I didn't grow up, but when you go to Japan, I've been in Japan like a handful of times, right, at least. And they have this like, they have two things that that's very different. They have milk called gyunyu, and they have apples called lingo. Right, so it's called Lingo Jusu for apple juice and Gyunyu for milk. But they drink whole milk down there. So what I didn't know growing up is that in Japan, we always had whole milk. It always tasted fucking phenomenal because it's whole milk. It's got all the fat in it. And then in America, my parents would always get 2%. So I was always like, this milk sucks. I want to go to Japan because they have better milk. And the same in Japan, they also have these things called Lingo. And they usually have Fuji apples, but I think they like get the apples locally or something from where my grandparents are at because, dude, the... The apple juice in Japan is a whole nother level. But anyway, it's always been Fuji, because Mount Fuji's in Japan. And so I think anytime I see Fuji apple, uh, and this also says Fuji apple pear, I'm also a big fan of pears, uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more biased here, but this is probably my favorite flavor so far. I'm gonna go 19 out of 20 here on the Celsius Fuji apple. This is fire, I really like this. Oh, my legs. My legs. 
Also, if everyone talking shit and saying Seattle's shitty weather, it literally is beautiful outside. All the time. Like, it looks like this most of the time. I don't know what everyone's making a big deal about. We got another pillow, because we needed to. We got napkins, helpful. We have another couple energy drinks. I got Cosmic Stardust for one, by Alani. And then another by Alani, Hawaiian Shaved Ice. Then I got a bunch of stuff for oatmeal. I got some chopped walnuts, coconut flakes, two different kinds of chocolate chips, because these make or break oatmeal for sure. When oatmeal is like a core meal, at least, you gotta make sure you do it right, and so you gotta get the right ingredients. This is the part where I just sit on the ground and like watch TikToks and like unwind my body <laughs> for like an hour or two probably. One thing I do know after traveling for a long time is that it feels good for most people in, in some sort of a routine to have somewhere to go and somewhere to go back to every day. And a lot of people that's work. And so for so many people who went um, to go remote over COVID, after a while of like, you know, the, it, the fun phase of it being all at home. And you're like, damn, I kind of want to get out of the house a little bit. Um, and it's kind of like that when you move somewhere new. Like right now I'm kind of sick of just like running errands all day pretty much. I'm ready to be like settled in so I can find like either a gym or some kind of like job or something so I can get out of the house a little bit and have somewhere to go and go back to and have some kind of routine. You just don't really talk about that because you don't really think about things like that. Um, unless you're moving and you're like in the middle of moving, which is not most of the time. You can see that boat all the way yonder. So I'm gonna walk down a few blocks, see if I can get to the water. Cause if I could, that's pretty lit. Train tracks. That's where we just were, right over in that area. It smells so good. All right, listen, I wanna make some oatmeal, but I really don't wanna film it. So I'm just gonna snap my fingers, and on the count of three, there's gonna be a bowl of oatmeal in my hand, ready? One, two, nice. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm just gonna do some editing and some YouTube watching and then go to sleep, I think. So thanks for being here. Click the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom, follow me on Twitter. Discord, all the things, you guys already know. And there's probably a handful of Joyge torches left for 0.06 ETH, um, just doing private sales through Twitter DM if you wanna get one, there's only a, literally a handful left. Code word for me to end this video is gonna be protein zotes. All right, if you wanna see more of me right now, click on one of these boxes underside me. Until next time, continue on your Joyge, continue to learn, and be grateful you're alive watching this video. Bye.